Hey, 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 guys, this is Hawkeye, and I am back with Ultimate Fishing Simulator. Yes, this is the original, and it is still going strong, despite the fact that there is an Ultimate Fishing Simulator 2. These games are actually quite different in many, many ways. There are some similarities. I mean, I, b I believe the people that develop them are the same, but the people that own them are different. I'm not sure about that exactly. I know the they both are related in some way however there are some things about this game that are still really cool plus they are still supporting it they're still adding to it as a matter of fact just recently they added a new a DLC called Tupo Lake or Taupo Lake and this lake is in New Zealand this is the first of the uh, fisheries that I have seen anywhere in any fishing game that is going down under yeah, we actually have a fishing lake from New Zealand, and I know a lot of people down there, so th I'm sure they're going to love this. Uh, yeah, there's a lot of the species are the same from some other locations, but s there's a few different ones. I mean, we've got... Let me go ahead and take you to the encyclopedia here, because this is something that's fairly new, too. I love this encyclopedia, because it gives you a kind of a look at the species that are to be found there. That way you can see if you've ever caught them before, or, or if you need, you know, what exactly they go for, what types of fishing methods they, they like to go for. But we've got tench, which we've seen plenty of times. We've got rud and koi. Now here's one I have not seen before, the flathead gray mullet. I've seen it on Fishing Planet, but not here. I don't think it was a flathead, it was just a gray mullet. But there's the 3D view of the fella. Interesting looking little fish. And then we've got, of course, a rainbow trout. We've got brown trout, brook trout. I think these guys have been taken all over the world, to be honest. I'm sure they're probably not native to this area. Now, here's a new one I have never seen before. Never even heard of it. Giant, no, I don't know if I'm pronouncing this right, Kokopu, Kokopu. It uh, says a species of ray fin fish in the genus Galaxias found only in New Zealand. So this is specifically native to New Zealand and nowhere else. So that's awesome. It is found in slow-moving streams, wetlands, lakes, and lagoons. They do, their diet consists of insects, crayfish, spiders, and smaller fish. Basically, best weather conditions, morning, night, no rain. So early morning, late at night, and dry weather conditions. Have not caught this fish yet, obviously. We've got brown bullheads. Now, I'm not sure if there's, they're on another life fishery. I think they are, but if they aren't, the black bullheads are. And we've got sockeye salmon, which we have seen before. Here's another new one, the New Zealand longfin eel, and it's a freshwater eel. It's endemic to New Zealand, so that we've got two species that are only found here, and it is the largest of freshwater eels. So you can apparently get up to 25 kilograms for uh, you guys. It's around 60 pounds, so decent sized fish, decent size. So it looks like insects and fish, so pretty much any damn thing in the world we can try here, we'll get them. And then we've got the Chinook or the King Salmon, and obviously they're found up in North America as well. So we've got quite a few. I think there's 12 total maybe. I think that's what it is. 12 total species 
two that are strictly endemic to New Zealand. Never seen them before. So that is that's awesome, and I can't wait to check this out, guys. Let me go ahead and get in here. Now you do have to uh, purchase a license, which I think is a dollar out of your, your change there. And we're gonna jump in here and see if we can catch anything new, in or at least something big. <laughs> All right, here we are. Now let's take a look at the map here and see what we're dealing with. All right, it looks like we are in an estuary. Opening out, I don't know if that's to the ocean or to a lake. I would assume it's a lake because all everything here is supposed to be fresh water. And there's plenty of locations that we can go to. I don't know where the best place to start is or where we're starting, honestly. Uh, let's see. Doesn't really clear it up. Well, I'm going to go... We're going to go over here to 7. See where that is. Okay, this is, this is an interesting place, honestly. <laughs> Let's see. Let me hide that chat thing. So, what are we dealing with here, people? Okay, we have got... We got fish out there? Yeah, we got fish. Want to find a place that has plenty of them. Looks like we got more of them over here. No idea what kind of fish we're dealing with right here. So let's go ahead and put our rod pod down here. Let's see. You can't be placed here. You can't be placed here. Guess you have to be up on the dry land. There we go. Whoop. That's not what I wanted to do. Okay. Now some of the commands here are exactly the same as an Ultimate Fishing Simulator 2, like the Q. We'll stop your cast if you accidentally cast it and you weren't quite ready and you didn't mean to but I am gonna go ahead and start cast fishing first just to kinda get a look at what's in the water and that's one of the best ways to do it now I've got a Suskus like we've used in Ultimate Fishing Simulator 2 on here came with the Sakura DLC. Wanted to see if anything might go for it. Might be doing it too fast. Now Suskus was real popular with the trout species. I think that's just going too fast. Let me throw that out there a little bit further. Ah, much better. And we need to take the speed down considerably, and I'm trying to remember if it's F? Yes, okay. I'm going to do this at about speed of 2 on the speed dial there. No tension at all, so in case something does get it. Try just doing a straight so we can at least get an idea what we got out here. So far, nothing seems to be all that enthused with the bait I'm using, or the lure I'm using. Let's throw this one this way. Getting a lift and drop. I don't know if that's going to make any difference, but 
There is a decent fish, but he doesn't seem all that thrilled with it. Looks like a tench to me. Yeah, they pretty much won't be going for these l Sakura lures. Okay, now we're getting somewhere. See, that says your hook size does not match. So there is where our problem is. The reason nothing has been buying, biting is because the hook size we've been using for everything has been way too big. So 4 out, that doesn't give us a lot of leeway here. So let's go down. Uh, maybe too small. Let's go down to 1 out. That doesn't all that little thing doesn't always pop up. I think I might go back to the map and see if I can't find a better place. Now I was up here. Let's try on the main channel here. Maybe yeah, this is deeper water, main river. I'm getting a little bit of lag here. This thing's come in. Let's see if we can't. Ah, now we're talking. We got some fish out there. Well, let's see. Will they go for that? I don't know. At this point, nothing seems to be going for anything I'd throw out there. There's a fish. Now, this hook could be too small. You, you never know. Nope, it is not. All right, now we're now we're cooking. Now we're cooking. We found something that they like. Looks like we got us. I think it's a rainbow, but okay. This guy's fairly good size, though, for what gear I have. I thought this was pretty heavy-duty gear. Well, this is just a really big fish. Okay, come on. Okay, yeah, we've got all kinds of trout species out here. So we're having more luck on the river itself. Yeah, that is a big rainbow trout. That's a record for me, guys. Biggest one I've ever caught, right there. 16.60 pounds. Now, what size hook did I have on here? Just to make sure here. I've got a one knot. So let's try one of our Suscus. So I really like those. I, I like those when I use them 
So there's a one out here. So we know that should be okay. Based on the fact that he went for that spinner. Hit an obstacle. I threw it all the way across? Jeez. Guess I did. Huh. Uh, we need to get the speed down a little bit. So Suskus actually qualifies as a spoon. Not a hard lure. See, I thought it was a hard lure. Shows you how much uh, I know about secure la lures. <laughs> we got these other spinners here too we could try. There we go. First one to go for the secure line. I think... can't really tell what it is. Sorry my dog is acting up. Go on. Yeah, I'm just trying to tire this guy out. Looks like he's starting to give in. I think it is another rainbow trout, but he doesn't seem to have as much red on him as the other one did. Yep. Didn't beat my other record, but that's a decent fish. Alright guys, I have no idea if those are the only types of species we're dealing with. If it's the trout species. So I am going to go ahead and do some bottom fishing again. At least try it again here. So let me get my rod pot out in an appropriate location. Let's switch this off and we're going to have to do some finagling because apparently the, like I said, we're dealing with a lot smaller hooks here. So we need to go downsize in our hooks. Let's see, one out, one out or smaller probably would be better. So we'll equip that. Actually corn might be just what we need for that one. Let's see for this one. Let's do natural eggs. Can't get more than one, I don't think. Yep. We'll see what we get fishing with these guys. I'm going to get out my float rod this time. I think I had put a one on hook on there. I'm not sure. No, much bigger. So I need to definitely size down here. We've got four out. Okay, we're getting into big hooks here. Okay, we'll equip this. And then we'll, I think we'll go, I think I'm gonna go with a one for that, but we are gonna keep these the same because you can put up to two baits on here. There is a really big fish right there. I don't know. I really want to find out if that's one of those New Zealand species that. 
I have mentioned. Just now I can't see anything. Are you serious? Even smaller? Well, this is going to be tough. Okay. Thought, yeah, I had. Okay, well, we can go with smaller. We'll go with four. That's probably why we're not getting anything on these bottom rods. So we're dealing with very small fish, or at least some fish with very small mouths. Yeah, it was that was too big. Okay, we're gonna have to go with I'm going with four. Take that off. Yeah, I'm going to put a natural egg on that. And a wax worm. Let's see where these fellows are. Looks like they're right out there in front of me. third one that's still too small we can go down to a one which is still too big apparently let's equip this with a two we'll just see if that works we'll keep the egg One more good look out there. Yeah, these fish look they, like they'd be big enough that you could catch them. I don't understand that. There's plenty of them there. These are two of their favorite baits. One of our bottom rods is finally getting something. All right, there we go. About time. Yeah, we had to go with the much smaller size hooks. This is a four out, I believe. No, it's a four. Yeah, I believe this is a four. I think I put a two on the other one. We were, it was coming back with one as being too big. Yeah, we got this fella. I think it is another rainbow trout. 
This seems to be a hot spot for rainbows. He's 7.95. out there where these guys are hovering. Let me see if I can't drag this in a little bit closer to them. I think I'm... Oh, wait a minute. I was wondering, it was kind of acting funny, like there was something go else going on, but usually it tells you. Yeah, if this is another rainbow, I think we are going to relocate and see if we can't find something else. like to get something other than rainbows caught them before <laughs> I haven't I want to catch something new I mean it's nice to catch the these are such big ones that is pretty cool apparently New Zealand makes for some big rainbow trout oh shoot this guy's no slouch. He was trying to make a break for it. He might be bigger than that first one I caught. No? 13 pounds. Still a very nice fish. But we are just getting trout, guys. That is all. So, back to the map. So we came over here to three. So let's see what's over in this side of things. Now this must be, like I said, a huge, huge lake. take a look out there and see what we're dealing with. We've got a bunch of fish out there. Good question is, are there any boats in this? That is a good question. I just realized that I haven't checked. Let's see, we'll go to one. Not seeing any boats. You can get over here. to this side of things if you so desire so this is the river again I would imagine or not I don't know where, where are we <laughs> I'm just running across the countryside here okay there's I think there's more lake over here What is this? It's like a small pond. Is there anything in it? Nah, there's no fish in here. Interesting that there are little things like that. Let's see. Let's try two. That kind of looks like where I was. Alright, I'm going to take a look around, guys. This may take a minute. Alright guys, I have checked all of the pegs, or the spawn points. There are no boats, so this does not have a boat. So you do not have options of going out into the deeper water. So everything has to be done from the shore. Looks like we have a lot of species over here. And these look like sockeye salmon. I'm kind of hoping that'd be nice. That'd be a nice change of pace. Let me see here. All right, we've got our first rod here. I'm 
toss that out. Second rod. I'm going to toss that over here. Bring this out. Let's see, what have I got on here? The Seuss Goose. Well, we could give that one a try just to see. It's not going to take much to cast it across there. Okay, yeah, we've got a little bit of different stuff here, finally. Ah, something on the bottom rod. Very nice. Get to see what if we got something new here. Well, it's definitely testing this gear here. Okay, we make that up to 38. Okay, we are starting to bring him in. Go up to 50. Once this thing gets into 90, we don't need to watch that he doesn't bolt. Got him. He's almost there. I think this is a sockeye, but whoa, whoa, okay. He didn't want to be caught. Let's get a little closer to him. There we go. No, it's a Chinook. There you go, guys. King Salmon. New record. 123 and 17.85 pounds. Very nice. All right, we will sell him. Alright, so at least we're getting some different species here, and we're still getting quite a bit of activity. So, just blows my mind. Oh, shoot, I forgot. I gotta switch over to the. There we go. Let's see where these guys are holing up here. It looks like they're all along here, honestly. We got some big ones up here close. Let's try over here. leave that pretty close go back to this who I really want that fella in fact I might try to get him let's get him let's try to get him maybe I can entice him with a, a dragonfly and a waxworm come on you know you want it come on come on Come on, you know you want it. Uh, tell you what. Uh, I thought we were getting something off of that, so. Let's, let's toss this right out there. See, there's a lot of them way out there. That's why I was thinking there might be a boat. This is a number four, so that is small. Ooh, there we go. There we go. Come on, fella. There you go. You gotta make sure he takes it. And he did. All right. We got him. It is another rainbow, but he's looking like he might be up there in size wouldn't be a bad thing to break my record make for good title record breaking rainbow trout or just record breaking trout 
Come on. Yeah, see that? What is that? Is that a brown trail? No, he's not very big. We'll sell him though. What is that? Is that a brown trout? Oh, it's. What ops? Oh, I guess it hit the pole. Come on. I might have to shorten the leader even more. It seems like this water is just so shallow that they are just. And look, we've got an interested party already. I think. No? No, he's not interested. Smaller hook? Are you kidding me? How damn small do you need to go? I think that's bullshit. <laughs> I'll call bull... Bull hockey. Sorry about that. Now that is a new fish. I think that's one of those mullets. But he is not showing any interest in this at all. He's just kind of he's just kind of sitting there. Now there's a sockeye. Yeah, they're just not seeming to care, guys. Hmm. Oh, well, that may be why. Apparently there's somebody in here with me. I don't know what they're doing, but that's kind of weird. Oh, boy. Okay. We are dealing with a fairly decent fish. Yeah, I was like, what the heck's that bubble over there? Apparently it is a person. Apparently you can come in and join my game if you so desire. I didn't know that could be possible. And it looks like he might be from somewhere out in the Far East. Because I do not recognize those symbols, other than that they're some form of Asian symbol. This guy is not going to come easily, guys. Yeah, it's the only thing about bottom fishing. You never know exactly what you're dealing with until you get him all the way to shore. I think... Charge complete. Yep, I got me a rainbow trout. And apparently my headphones are charged. <laughs> Crazy. Yeah, we're definitely getting the rainbow trout, dudes. Alright, looks like we've got us another bite. Well, let's see what the heck we have here this time. I'm hoping something different. Yeah, I wouldn't mind getting one of those flathead mullets or whatever they're called. never got one of those. I've never gotten one of the, well, obviously the New Zealand species, we haven't got any of those. Haven't seen any of the eels yet. I think they would kind of stand out. That might be something for the next episode, but yeah, this is, I have been playing Ultimate Fishing Simulator for a while, mainly because I was playing the second version of it. And I think we may have just gotten our first deal. Yes, we did. All right. Cool beans, guys. May have to change the title of this altogether. New Zealand Longfin Eel. 19.08 pounds. Well, yeah, of course, it's a new record. I never got one. This is the first one I've caught. I just sat there and said just a few seconds ago, I haven't seen one. Well, I caught one. There you go.
and I caught it off of wax worms and uh, salmon eggs so not bad not bad at all and then I'll go in our trophy room guys let me get a picture of this this guy and we will sell him and I think that's a good point to stop at guys because we just got us our first new species one that we've never gotten before anyway guys that's our first look at the topo fishery I think that's how you pronounce it let me make sure <laughs> topo lake fishery and we spent about an hour in here we kinda got a decent look around failed at a lot of things but we did find a lot of things which is really good I think as we as we mess around with it we will find where things are best to find them but right now if you check the map I am right here at position five so that's where I caught the eel and it's also where I caught the uh, Chinook's salmon so that'll tell you something you know at least a place to start if you want to get something new or different well anyway guys I hope you enjoyed this episode please be sure to share comment like and subscribe and I'll be back with another episode of Ultimate Fishing Simulator, the first one. So until then, guys, as I always say, aim straight, cast far, and have fun, and I will see you later. Bye-bye.